welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another junk journal with me episode for today's video i will use the journal that i received from lisa from our junk journal swap if you want to have a look on the journal that i made for her and also the flip through of this journal i have the link for both videos on the description down below so i decided to use this journal for my house progress i am currently building our first house me and my husband bought a land here in indonesia around early 2021 which means we were still in australia but we kind of knew that we would be settling in indonesia so yeah we bought a land and we finally built it around october 2022 on the first pages here, I want to set it up with some title and also the picture of the front of my house design. So it's January 2023 now, meaning that it's been three months already we're building it. Then I was just thinking it would be nice to have a specific journal for it. I was actually planning to make some spread about it on my regular junk journal, but I think having a dedicated journal will be convenient and then when the house is finished i can look back on this journal without having to look for the pages if i do it on a regular journal back to the spread i just did a fussy cut on the house design and because i love an interactive element i have this fold out that is so cute and just so perfect for the first page of this journal this fold out is a printable that I bought from Lila Bindi. The design comes with two flaps so you can use either the side or the bottom flap. Here I decided to use the bottom flap and just glue it straight onto the page. Before gluing the fold out, I trimmed the side of the house design which I regret afterwards because it makes the house look smaller, isn't it? So later on, I just glued them back on. I printed this cute pink roof house fold out on a 160 GSM paper so it's quite thick hence I used PVA glue I tried to use a stronger glue for any paper that is thicker than the normal 80 GSM copy paper just because it is very strong and it holds really well but for a regular copy paper, I just use the Uhu glue stick and yeah, it works just fine. So I just glued this side of the house design back to its place and it just looks so much better, hey? I really love how it turned out with the fold out as well and I think it's it's really cohesive with the doodly blue prints that Lisa put as the first page in this journal. Then I have this vintage linen printable that I thought would be so perfect to write the title on. Next, I have this label print that I will write something on it later and I think that is all for the first spread. I keep it simple with big decoration on it because I want the house design to be the main character. So let's move on to the next page. I have several photos here from the early days of planning the building I would say so I have some pictures when the location was still an empty land my idea is to journal about the house progress chronologically so for the spread I want to have those moments captured here For 
the photos, I used double-sided tape to stick them onto the page. Then I reinforced them with washi tape that acted kind of like a frame. I got this idea from Emma Durance. I hope I pronounced your name correctly, Emma. But yeah, on her latest video, she framed her photo with washi tape like this and I just think it's a really nice idea although I'm not too sure with the washi tape that I use here but well, I can always change it later if I want to, can't I? Then on the next page, I was very decisive about the placement of the photos and also how to make them stand out on top of the purple page here but then I remembered that I still have the 3d layout of my house that I want to include I really love the purple bluey page that is already bound here on the journal and if I glue the layout on it, I won't be able to see much of the purple page so I just added an extra page here with a printed paper that I got from my pen pal Elena so this is one of a way that I like to do to add another page onto the bounded journal it is simply with a washi tape and the way I do it is to place the washi tape with half of the width so it will stick on both of the paper and the page as you can see here and then you put another washi tape with the same technique on the other side of the page to kind of reinforce it So here I'm sticking down the layout for the first floor and the second floor layout will be just on the back. I actually put this spread as my entry for the Junk Journal January challenge by Mac Journals. I've been participating on the challenge for some of their prompts. And for day 18, which the prompt was maps, I decided to enter the challenge with my house layout. I know it's not like a map, but this is how I interpret the prompt and I guess I could say that this is the map for my soon-to-be house. So yeah, I've been enjoying the challenge so far, although I don't do all of the prompts, I just do the ones that I feel like I gravitate towards the most. I put Meg's YouTube channel on my description box below so you can check it out. There are so many creators that are collaborating on this challenge, so it's very nice to see new inspiration from different kind of people every day for this month. Then I have this blue dual fold out that I think is so pretty on top of the orange print. And again, I just use the PVA glue to stick down this fold out. Then I put this vintage linen printable here together with a picture of my dad and my builder looking at the house drawing. As I said before, I really like the print of this purple blue paper so I don't want to cover it much so I think one photo will do for this page.
on the inside of the door fold out I decided to put a photo of my builders making the foundation for the building I really love putting down pictures because I can remember that day vividly and how excited I was with the start of the building I'm, I'm just so happy with my decision to keeping the memories of my house progress especially in a dedicated journal like this and also journaling about it is very enjoyable for me actually I have printed more photos for the progress so yeah i can't wait to share it to you especially if you're into house or currently building a house as well if you're not then don't worry i will still be focusing more on the you know the journaling itself the journal decoration and how i place things here and there now we are on the finishing touches I just put some labels peppers and also stickers I have this color swatch stickers from Audrey from love of my life letters on Instagram I really like this Pantone color stickers it's just so fitting for my house journal So just a note that the colors that I put here are not the actual colors that I want to put or paint my house with. I just don't have the correct color yet, but I thought by placing down this kind of stickers, it is to remind me to kind of keep all the paint sample maybe later when I'm on that stage. So then I can put it on my journal. Next, I put some alphabet stickers to do a title. I have many of these, so it's the perfect time to use them. So here's a flip through of what I did so far. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I also put a tag with a string there for another extra journaling space. So yeah, now let's do the written journaling. I was actually thinking of a name for the house people here named their house for I don't know what reason but I couldn't think of a good name for this house some people use a mix of their names or the first two letters of their name with the partner but yeah I couldn't think of any and I don't know if I like my name and my husband's name together my husband's name is Zella and my name is Inda if I combined the first two letters, it would be Zayn. I don't know, it sounds cozy like Zen, but not too sure at the moment. But yeah, if you have any suggestion, please leave a comment down below. I would love to know your opinion. Thank you. 
on the first page I wrote our first house journey and just below that I want to have the name of the city that we're building this house in which is Bandung I decided to use them for that and instead of using ink I use a brush pen as the ink because I really want to use a burgundy color but I don't have a burgundy ink pad so yeah here's a hack And here you're watching me trying so hard to write on this wrinkly paper I love the look of the paper but I just didn't know that it would be a pain in the bum to write on it it's okay though I managed to slowly get the ink out from the pen to the paper So here's the flip through of the finished spread. I'm in love with this journal and also journaling about my house progress. I'm actually thinking to display this journal later in my living room so people who visit can see the progress through this journal. And that is it for today guys. Thank you so so much for watching. If you're here till the end, please let me know what you think of it. I would really appreciate anything. I really hope you enjoyed this session and if you do, please like this video and consider to subscribe to me as well if you haven't already. It will mean so much to me and we're so close to 500 subscribers which is so awesome to think about anyway i hope you're all doing very well and i'll see you in my next video bye